This is the Star Tribune, a major news outlet here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And on June 3rd, a black man, Winston Smith, was shot and killed by U.S. Marshals and deputized Ramsey and Hennepin County uh, law enforcement officials. And less than 48 hours later, Star Tribune reported Winston Smith as a murder suspect. And they said he was a murder suspect because they said that the BCA said he was a murder suspect. The BCA is the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. So what the Star Tribune did is they took the word of cops and they said that Winston Smith was a murder suspect. Winston Smith was shot and killed by law enforcement. The issue is Winston Smith wasn't a murder suspect. He was actually unarmed, reported by the person that was sitting with him in the car. So what happened was the Star Tribune ran a false story about a black man that's already been put into the ground. Now, that as an isolated situation is egregious enough to kind of collapse any faith that you may have for a news outlet like this. The question is, how do we reconcile with the continual, the continual uh, dirt thrown on the names of black men that have been put into the ground by law enforcement officials to justify state-sanctioned violence and police brutality. And furthermore, how do we regain any faith in media outlets that have continually to fail to report baseline facts and regurgitate false news, regurgitate things that didn't happen, and regurgitate propaganda? And what I wanna ask you, and you may be watching this in a different city than Minneapolis, is what are some of the independent news outlets that you've put faith into and so we can maybe create a list of independent news uh, of folks that, that are actually on the ground speaking to the people and not repeating the words of cops. So put that in the comments below and we look forward to making a list of them and giving them back to the people.